Hey, what's up guys? Back with another tutorial. On this one, what we're going to do is we're actually going to extend the Discord bot that we were working on before. And we're going to actually do the voice module. So if you watch the previous one, what we did is we went into the command prompt. And then we did pip install discord.py. And that's all we did. And so for this one, all you have to do is you need to open bracket voice close bracket and then just hit enter and one thing to mention some of the people were confused on the last one you need to have python installed obviously and you need to make sure that when you install python you click the box that says add to path variable or something along those lines and pip will come along with it but you need to make sure that you have python installed first because this is a python program so anyways, we've done this, pip install discord.py voice. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go to, if you look at the documentation, I've got the documentation open right here. And basically, I'm just following along with what they said. So this, this really is not that hard. I, I want you guys to understand that I'm not pulling this out of thin air. I'm actually, I'm looking at this and I go, oh, we pip install discordpy.voice. That's how we install. Okay, that's not too hard. And then I look at the example code and I kind of learn from that. And so that's how I do this. In this video, we're just going to focus on their sample code first. And so basically what I'm going to do is I'm, or what I recommend you do rather, I already have it done here, is you just, to start off with, let's just copy and paste all of this code into idle or sublime or pycharm or whatever you're using and then just like last time if you've already um, signed up for a discord app you're going to take your token and you're going to plug it in at the end so you just copy and paste this code into there and then i'm going to show off all of the um, capabilities of this example code um, for this video, I'm not going to be writing any of my own code. I want to make that clear that this is all the example code directly from um, Rapts, who wrote this library. After this video, I'm going to extend it and I'm going to add some of my own functionality. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be um, basically building something so people can... You're going to basically say make teams and then it's going to respond back okay what size teams do you want and how many and then you say I want two teams of two people and then what it's going to do is it's going to make two new um, voice channels and then it's going to put two people in random in those two um, slots so that it makes two teams of two or any combination that you want and so that's just going to teach us a couple things about moving people in channels, reading all of that information, and seeing who's already in a voice channel, and all of that stuff. But for this this one, we're just, just going to be focusing on what the capabilities of the example program already are. Because what I did is I basically read through this, and I um, scrubbed the basic information and I was like oh that's how you do this and then I kind of just reformatted a, a little bit so that I could do my own functions and so without further ado I'll just actually start showing off what it can do so let's just kind of go top to bottom um, let's look at this one so if we go over to discord we can see you call the bot by doing whatever your bot's name is, at bot, and then you type your command after that. And so for this, what I'm going to show off is the summon command. And so what that's going to do is it brings the bot into this channel with you. So if I go over here and I say summon again, it'll follow me over there. So that's how summon works, is it immediately goes to the channel that you're in. And then after that, I can say something like IT connected join general. Hang on. It's already in a voice channel. 
So the way that you're going to want to stop that is you just say IT connected or your bot name stop and then it's going to leave the channel and so that's how you make it stop doing whatever it's doing and just leave the channel and so after that I can show you the join command and so this is if you want to put the command in someone else's channel so I say join and then I type out the name of the channel which is general and then I enter that and then you see that it joined general and is ready to play audio there so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch myself back to general and then after that I'm going to show you the play command which is actually really cool so basically what this is is you say at your bots name and then you say play and then you just name whatever song you want and basically what it's gonna do in the background is it's going to um, look on YouTube for whatever your search term is and then it's going to play that song through the channel so if you have your team of three or whoever you're hanging out with you can just say play whatever and it'll start playing the music in there so I could say play a song and then it starts playing a song and then you go oh this is annoying I'm going to say at IT connected skip and then what it does is if the person who requested the song skips then it immediately skips but if it's someone else in the channel then it's gonna say one out of three people have skipped two out of three people have skipped three out of three people have voted to skip and then once the third person is voted it's gonna skip the song so it requires that you have three people vote to skip and if you want to change that you can just look over for where the skip function is and you can see if total votes is greater than or equal to three and you could just change that to one or two or whatever and then it says a little message over here too and you can change that number to whatever you change this number to and then you're good to go you just customize the bot a little bit and so on top of that there is a pause function so we did skip but you could just pause the song and then there's resume so if you pause the song you can keep playing it again and then the other command is volume and so you can set your volume to a number out of 100 and so if the song's too loud you can say volume 10 or 5 or whatever you want so if you want to see what that actually looks like it's just IT connected volume 5 but it's not playing any songs right now so it's not gonna um, do anything for us for the most part I think that is it for this section in the next video like I said we're gonna be covering how to actually write this code because a lot of this is object oriented and it's something that we haven't really run into in the past so I'm gonna show how you can basically take snippets of this code like with join you can see that it does something to join the channel and you can say oh I'm gonna manipulate this some way and I'm going to make it do something else so that's gonna be it for this video see you in the next one